For some weird reason, the anime Madoka Magica tries to trick the viewer right away by introducing us to the normal life of our relatable main character. No seriously, what appears to just be a cute cat companion is indeed something much more sinister, a creature that exchanges whatever wish that you desire for your soul. But what's really great about Madoka Magica is the incredible depth of its world. The magical girls seem like regular typified shoujo characters until they bring out their 10,000 magical rifles. Even going as far as to say that Joan of Arc and Cleopatra were magical girls themselves. By episode 3, you'll start to understand why people find this show so morbid and scary. But the key to Madoka Magica comes in the power of how it subverts this genre, and how it uses the expectations of the audience to tell a better story, and maybe change how we see magical girls forever. But anyways, 